Hello and welcome to Noob Gardening. So, what are we going to talk about today? Money. No one's got enough of it and in gardening it can be incredibly expensive. Uh, maybe comment down below uh, how much you've what, spent on a garden in the past. So, uh, I'm just going to quickly talk about this thing. This whole bad boy was created all in all, I reckon about 70 quid. And most of that were the pots, just because I wanted something a little bit fancy. Plants were bought really, really cheap. All the materials here were reused, so it didn't cost me hardly anything. In times of austerity and all the doom and gloom, gardens can be really bloody expensive. But that doesn't mean you have to sacrifice. And now is a really great time to save money for next year. So, what are we gonna do today? I've already, in a number of things, got a load of stuff ready for winter down in the greenhouse. But uh, now we're gonna talk about some specifics as well. So, I've still got a number of pots and hanging baskets out. And I'm gonna try and save as many of the plants ready for next year. So, we talked before about these begonias. You can put in some old compost and you can basically work it so that next year, the new sprouts that come out, you can really save money. You've got some seeds here as well if you wanted to try and seed them from scratch. Geraniums, same thing as well. Got bacopas, we've got all kinds of other things here in these baskets that can be really used up and basically planted up in old compost or new compost if you've got it, really just to save a lot of money ready for next year. So this is a really good time before all the frost kill everything off to get plants that are sensitive to frost get them if you've got in a greenhouse if you haven't make a polytunnel you can make it out of old bits of wood you can make it out of old bits of glass we use double old double glazing um, just with some old tent poles you can make kind of mini polytunnels but try and get them in a position where you're going to protect them from frost you can even bring them indoors if you really want to and you can have a little bit of our greenery around the house so what we're going to do is we're going to clear all these pots out we're going to get them into some old compost, plant them up and get them down the greenhouse. And then, uh, well, if you want to know, subscribe, see next year what we can do with them and how we can reuse them all over again. Right then, I mean that was a quick job. See, we managed to save some begonias, some geraniums. I've got some fuchsias here managed to save. And I think these are bacopas, these kind of trailing things. I'm not quite sure about that. Um, but it frees up an hour pot ready for me to plant some bulbs in for spring. And that's gonna save me quite a lot of money. The geraniums you can take cuttings from in spring. Same with the begonias, they'll kind of go into dormancy, they'll die back. And then you can split them off all the new shoots that come through. Fuchsias, again, Lovely plants. I love fuchsias. Some people hate them. I really like them. You can really get a, a lot out of it by, and by saving you a ton of cash just by overwintering them. A lot of trailers as well. well I'll, I'll get onto some baskets in a bit. You can actually lay them out in long pots and the, the trailers will naturally seed at it, growing points all the way along. And you can turn one plant and you can turn it into 10, 20. So I'm just going to do the rest of these pots and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, maybe comment down below about what plants you want to try and save this year. Right then, well, I've, uh, I've spoken a lot about, you know, kind of what plants you can save. There are some plants that are quite tough to save as well, um, or uh, overwintering them in this way. You really ideally want to probably take seeds or you want to try and take cuttings. So, uh, busy lizzies, you might have noticed some of the plants I just kind of took out and threw straight away. That's because either I've run out of space in the greenhouse and I know I'm not going to be able to fit them and I've got other specimens ready to, to kind of survive or I know that I'm just not going to be able to, to actually save them. So, you know, you can't save everything, but this is a great time of year to try and save as much as you can, and that's going to really pay you dividends next year. So, put in the graph now. Right then, so now we're moving on to some of the baskets. So, if you notice in here, some of this stuff, some of the busy lizzies, they've all died out. 
I've got some geraniums that are surviving, so I'm going to try and do this. And then I've got this kind of stuff really kind of growing down now. What is this stuff? I think it's ground ivy, or it's like a variegated type. I've got some other versions here. Bits of it have kind of died out, but you can see here all kind of trailing down. Now, this is another one. Ivy, again, we've talked about it in previous videos. It can be a bit of a love-hate relationship. These have lovely little dainty flowers on them. They look really nice, go really well in baskets. You can make yourself, save yourself a ton and load of money because this kind of stuff naturally wants to try and propagate itself. So what do you want to do? You want to put it in a, uh, a long, old uh, tub or a pot of some kind. Let me just quickly show you what I mean. So something like this. It's as old as anything. You can pick some of these up, you know, go to like old fates and jumble sales and stuff like that. You can pick these up for pennies. So what you do is you plant the end of the plant here and then you let it just trail out and you kind of sweep it round and just kind of gently push some of these nodes into the ground um, where it's kind of growing from. If you see from here, it's kind of, you've got these little tiny growing points all the way along it. You push those into the ground what will happen is, is it will root and each individual one of those nodes will sprout out a new plant. That means in spring you can come along, slice them up and you can turn again one plant into 50 plants, 100 plants. So again, that's what Ivy's trying to do here. That's why it trails so nicely. It's trying to seek out a ground source so that it can then grow on from it. So what we're going to do is lift these off. I'm going to, some of this stuff I won't be able to save. I've got like some completely dead here. Uh, I think that was Lobelia once, but this stuff we can save, we can propagate in the spring and we'll have loads and loads of really great plants ready for when we plant our summer baskets.
Right then, well, that's all the uh, all the baskets taken care of, as you can see. Now I've got absolutely loads and loads of plants. And that's going to save me hundreds of quid next year when I want to plant out my baskets and my pots. So, just to remember, you're not going to save everything. Sometimes you got to just take a look at stuff. I mean, look at this geranium here. He's tiny, he looks like he's doing all right, but he's got no root ball whatsoever. Chances of him surviving, not so good. So save your limited amount of pots because you don't want to be wasting money on pots. Save it for the things you can save. And then, uh, so yeah, remember you might have a few casualties, but you're working on probabilities here. So if you can save 10, then you probably might lose two or three. You're saving seven. You're saving yourself each one of those. I mean, like a geranium, you know, you can be talking for a large geranium, something like six, seven, eight quid down a garden centre. So work on places of probabilities, save the best ones, save the types of varieties you want to save, and then don't be too worried if you lose a few along the way. So I'll get all of this now down the greenhouse. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Maybe comment down below what plants you want to save. Or if you've saved any, give me a shout, take a picture. We'd love to see them. Like and subscribe to the video. Thanks for watching.